Last time on Ghosts of Tsushima. Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farmstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as headman, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake. But his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. You will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. This map shows Ariake's lighthouse. We have no camps there, but people have said bandits have taken it over. Not bandits. Something worse. Lady Masako. He helped kill everyone I loved. And for what? To satisfy his pathetic hatred? When the Mongols defeated the samurai, I wanted to die with them. I threw myself into a battle I knew I couldn't win. It was... easier. How do you survive? I remember that I have people to protect. And the dead to avenge. With Sado dead, whoever is responsible will hear that I'm alive and hunting. They'll become afraid, make a mistake. Just be careful, Masako. You too. You are a part of this now. We'll find the other traitors on that list. But first, we must save my uncle. I'll be at Kaneda Farmstead when you need me. Hola amigos, Ghost here, and today we continue the story of the ghost. We have helped Lady Masako deal with one of those responsible for her family's murder, as well as help her bury her sons that were killed during the Battle of Komodo Beach. The rest of those she hunts are in the two regions north of our uncle's prison. So for now, she will be mostly focused on rescuing our uncle. Now we help Sensei Ishikawa hunt down his former student before she causes more damage. Let's do this. The Sensei and the Student An Ishikawa Tale 2 of 9 Sensei Ishikawa and I learned that his former student, Tomoe, has sided with the Mongols. He asked me to meet him at his dojo so we can continue the hunt to track her down. Our rewards are minor legend increase, a minor range charm, and two silk. Let's do this. Sakai! Sensei, any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai. But she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. The sensei and the student. Come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The locals are Mongols training there. I suspect Tomoe was with them. If Tomoe is truly fearless, She'd make a useful ally. A starving leopard is fearless too. Leopards can't master your way of the bow. Let it go, Sakai. You will never join us. Why did she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. And not the first time she's made it. We don't know it was her fault. You don't. I do.
You have to climb to get there. Sure you can make it, Sensei? What are you waiting for, Saka? You need a hand, Sensei? Not bad, Sakai. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows, Mongo and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. Move it, Sakai. How many Mongols is Tomoe training? A severed head. Used for target practice. Sensei! Mongols here! Resting your bow arm, Sensei. Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here. Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> now, where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. If we catch her, do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving. Or you'll die. Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer. Help me! 
Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the sensei and the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. I taught a monster how to hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. I've seen enough. I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. And with that, we have completed the Sensei and the Student. And we gain another technique point. Charm of Efficiency. 15% increase to not knocking and reload speed. I think it's notching, knocking. I don't know. I actually don't know the bow, that bow, how it's pronounced, that bow term, which I believe is like the actual draw, uh, like when you're preparing to fire the arrow type thing, aiming it, while the reload is obviously grabbing out the next arrow. Pretty useful for a uh, archer build, which once I get the uh, armor for it, as well as just... Uh, some more uh, charms for range. I might make an armor or a range build for uh, specific situations and such. We'll see. We'll see. Alrighty then, before we tackle the next mission, it's time to upgrade some techniques. First one I'm going to do is deflect arrows because that'll be very useful if I can't rush towards the archer to uh, be able to still block and uh, parry them and such. Uh, let's see. I also want to grab a guarded throw because obviously uh, at the moment if we're close by our bomb we get hurt but now we won't be hurt. We also be uh, getting safe landing because I'd be doing I'd be jumping off such high points for no reason. I'm also going to get our first chain assassination. Bam. The next one needs two which we don't have. And I'm also going to get a bow upgrade. The concentration which slows time for a short um, uh, period. And of course the next two increase that greatly, and there's also armor and um, charms that also increase it, which makes it very effective. Bam, now we have that. The past never passes. An Ishikawa tale, three of nine. Sensei Ishikawa's traitorous former student, Tomomoe, is training Mongol archers in Hiyoshi. We stop some from brutalizing a small settlement but Tomoe is still out there. I will meet Ishikawa at his dojo to plan our next move. Our rewards are minor legend increase, a minor range charm, and two silk. Let's do this. Sakai. Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Yoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? A few archers at strategic points can isolate a whole town. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. Tomoe was a good student. Too good. We're fighting your own reflection. We will turn that to our advantage. The past never passes. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. We 
We want to control movement in and out of Yoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. The road south runs along a high ridge. Perfect place to rain down arrows. Tomoe would agree. There's hope for you. Let's go hunting. What else did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including why you left Clan Nago? That's no secret. It was time to retire, and the hot spring suited me. But you continued to teach. Not at first. What changed your mind? The bow is my life. Putting it down felt like death. So I chose to live. But do you regret giving up a warrior's life? Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. That is the only victory worthy of a samurai. The rest is noise. We're getting close. Eyes open. Innocent travelers. Murdered. Let's help their killers follow them across the Sansu River. All those innocent, dead. Tomoe has thrown everything away. Betrayed her people. She is a traitor because the Mongols offer power, wealth, status. Things denied her by birth. Tomoe knew she was born to a lower station than she deserved. Now you're being too kind. Kindness can be useful, even to a warrior. Who told you that? Sun Tzu? My uncle. And he didn't tell me. He showed me. Mercy creates a debt. Your uncle showed mercy to people who pose no danger to him. A safe bet. Ambush! Snake nest to find. Come. How did Tomoe become your student? She showed up at my dojo with her father's makeshift hunting bow and refused to leave. You didn't turn her away. I tried, but she sank arrow after arrow into my targets. I've never seen talent like hers. She must have had training. Her form is wrong. Would have been useless in a real fight. She had no fear of missing a shot. She never hesitated. A warrior's spirit. No. Killers. I didn't see it until it was too late.
Sensei Ishikawa! You know the name Ishikawa? I do. I have message. Speak. Sensei, all of Hiyoshi Springs will beg for mercy, like the victims of Hironori now. Silence! <laughs> Hironori Nagao. Didn't he die fighting bandits? It was decades ago. He was reputed to be a great archer. Did he study with you? No. Tomoe is spreading lies. But there's a seed of truth. She wants us to doubt each other. We are all that stands between Hiyoshi Springs and a bloodbath. Then we stand together. Hmm. We'll plan the town's defense at my dojo. Meet me there, and be ready to fight! And with that, we have completed the past never passes. And so close to increasing our legend. Charm of Precision. Moderate increase to arrow damage. Very useful. Very much useful for a range build. The way of the bow has been unlocked. The way of the bow. An Ishikawa tell, four of nine. Sensei Ishikawa's traitorous former student, Tomoe, seems to be training Mongol archers for an attack on Hiyoshi Springs. The sensei is filled with remorse for teaching her, but his guilt will save no one. Our only recourse is action. I should meet him at his dojo so we can plan a defense. Our rewards are minor legend increase, a half bow die, and a minor defensive charm. Let's do this. Sakai. The way of the bow. We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand a fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. And humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or... We allow the Mongols to take it. Tomoe wins a victory and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it. Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Fine, Sakai. She will attack from the north. We should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and. Listen! Did you hear that? One arrow, one death. Let's 
I wondered when Tomoe's new friends would visit. If the point was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Hyoshi Springs. The attack is starting. This way. If I fall today, promise me you will keep hunting Tomoe. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls, the most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense, but it won't be easy. It never is. You two, come here. What is it, my lord? Mongols are heading for Hiroshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lords. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have much time. What can we use to our advantage? Not many options. We'll exploit the ones we have. Those barrels could do some damage. Dry grass. Where are the Mongols in? We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Hornet's nests. Excellent distraction. Take these flaming arrows. And try not to burn yourself or me. Flaming arrow. Shot by the half bow ignites enemies, cloth, and dry grass. Very useful indeed. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. The Mongols will be here soon. They're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, Sensei. For more. Who are they? Coming down the main road. I've got them. Of Tomoe. More on the way. Help them cross. Help them cross the Sensu River.
For now. Ah. There she is. That's Tomoe? Burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoya all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. And like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago. And you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new student. I'll need you at Castle Canada. My bow is yours, but Tomoe isn't done yet. We must keep hunting her. We will, Sensei. And with that, the way of the bow has been completed. The Niyoshi Springs saved from the Mongols. And our legend grows. The Shadow Samurai. Maximum health increased. If I pack the Mongols' black powder into a clay pot, I can set it aflame and throw it as a weapon. Bam. I chose this one because it's very useful uh, against a groups of enemies, both combat and stealth. Wind chimes are also pretty useful, especially once you get fire rack, uh, firecrackers too, but... I usually get the offensive capabilities first. Charm of Immunity. 15% chance for enemy arrows to deal no damage. Pretty useful. If it was 25%, it would be very, very good. Because that's a 1 in 4 shots. This is more like, I'm not a math guy, so like 1 in 7? 1 in 8? Something like that, I'm not sure, but it's still useful nonetheless. Yep, range uh, weapon swapping. Yep, I already know that. Storming Falcon, half bow die. Let's take a look. Ah, I see. Looks pretty good. Both are both uh, the Burning Fang and the Storming Falcon look pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with the Storming Falcon because I like the black and white color scheme to it. Looks looks really good. We did it. Kiyoshi Springs is safe. And Sensei Ishikawa can now focus on assisting us in rescuing our uncle. Since his former student will be retreating north past the castle. Let's return to Komoda. We have some unfinished business to take care of at this lighthouse. We must liberate this village and also check out what this is.
right here. I'm here. so glass. Pillar of Honor. Oh. Ah, oh, the Vanity Gear stuff. Yeah, yes. Ooh. Genbu's Darkness. For warriors who celebrate the shadows. I like it. It looks pretty nice. It kind of looks like... I don't know if that's scales or skin. Or like a... Hmm. I don't know. Either way, I like it. I, would I probably wouldn't use it, but it looks pretty nice. The colors don't clash. It looks seamless. I, I pretty much like it. Let's liberate Furuta Village. Minor legend increase, six steel, and stands progress, as well as some other resources that we may find in the uh, village. Tindwen! Yogs to stay!
this way. In her ass, her rod, my son. Der Mund bei Starla.
Bam, the village has been liberated. And with that, we conclude today's chapter of the ghost story. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly did. Until next time, this is Ghost, signing out.